Oh my God, it's real people on the <laughs> stage together. <laughs> it hasn't happened in a hundred years. <laughs> it's really quite something. My name is Rose Cousins, and I am very honored to be hosting the first of two songwriter circles, which is a tradition at the East Coast Music Awards. And I am on stage with some serious powerhouse singers and writers today. And uh, I'm, yeah, I've got the job of host. But I'm not going to get in the way. I'm <laughs> um, just going to say a few things, which is that we're very thankful to SoCan and the Songwriters Association of Canada for sponsoring this event and for helping us in our lives by collecting monies and supporting our craft. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just, I'm just, it is really an amazing thing to be on stage with humans. Um, and so we're, we, we're pretty sure there are people watching, and then we're not sure, but we know that you are also hopefully human and excited <laughs> to be here. We're one step, <laughs> the next step will be to be in the same room together. So thank you so much uh, for being here. And um, without wasting any time, I'm just going to quickly introduce everyone who's here, and then we'll get deeper into it as everyone sings a song. Um, on my far right, your left, is Ms. Kim Harris. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Dave Sampson and Jamila, and I'll have her introduce her player when it comes okay. time. Sounds Although good. I do know his name is Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> I met him before. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Kim Harris from Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. Do you know what I realized on the drive out here is that I'm pretty sure, and we'll know by the end of the round, is that we're all from islands, originally from islands. Cozy. Okay? Yeah. Western Newfoundland, gorgeous. Ridiculous. Just the best. Kim, please for two. Place. <laughs> 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 Which is a song about islands. I don't. Lots of like being alone songs though, so that's helpful. Um, I'm gonna start us on like a really hopeful <laughs> note, um, where I wrote this song um, the first time I saw fireflies, uh, because I'm from Newfoundland. I don't know if your islands have fireflies, but mine did not, <laughs> and when I saw little bugs that have lights in their bums, I was shooketh and started writing just a really tender song about it um, that very quickly dominoed into a ballad of, you know, self-doubt and um, stayed there. So this is called Once You Were Wondrous. I was older when I first saw fireflies Lighting up reeds like the prayers left behind our eyes They glow and glow and glow without apologizing It was then I started dreaming of marine And all the possibilities if I could bend the light With auric gestures, illuminating tree lines The whispers drew, we were the last signs They saw that night Once you were wondrous and I have you down to They always promise the light in us will leave here Say things that will make me want to stay for the remainder I 
Since you were wondrous and I had your doubts Once you were wondrous and I have your doubts Ooh. You were once a Oh, beautiful. I didn't see fireflies on PEI when I was growing up either. I, I, I saw them somewhere in the States first. Really? And it was magical. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> what? What's freaking going on there? <laughs> Dave? I don't know. Did they have them in Cape Breton? <laughs> too many, actually. Way too many fireflies. Not possible. Dave Sampson is from Sydney, Cape Breton, which is where we're all supposed to be right now. Hi. And um, also an island. That's right, Dave? Right. That's right. We are, we are an <laughs> island. Right? I liked actually. I had that thought <laughs> as well. Of like, I'm like, yeah, I'm good at being lonely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm good at being yeah. alone. Yeah, I'm terrible at being alone. Actually, <laughs> I need to be around people at all times. That's just my vibe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, this song is about. I had a friend that was. Um, he was madly in love with his best friend and didn't realize it until they started to date somebody else. And um, and I kind of watched it work its way out, you know, it kind of, everyone kind of had a, an idea when you, you know when somebody likes somebody else, and we would see it, and then I watched him go crazy when that um, other person started to date somebody else, and um, obviously as a songwriter, I wrote about that, and it's called I Should Be Your Man. Well, I'ma keep it on the low Cards close to my chest, kind But when I see you blowing smoke Into the night sky with some dude guy I get a little bit of pound in my chest Little sweat on my hands Lord, I want you like crazy There's a chance I might lose a friend Mess it up, but then again Might get to call you baby Gonna say in my crash and burn, don't give a damn. I should be your man. I'll be a Friday night ride right home in your cup of coffee in your sunrise. And every chance I'll let you know that you're the only love I'll ever feel in my life. Hope I'm not coming on. 
This can go all times are wrong. Worth it if I get to call you baby. Autobiographical. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you see? I've been, with, I've been with my girlfriend before I started making songs. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the first time you and I have met. This is Jamila. Yes, Rose. And, um, I've listened to your voice and it's so incredible. I really am amazed by all the incredible <laughs> singers on this stage. I'm so excited to hear you today. You're originally you. from Jamaica. I am from, and we do have fireflies. And you have fireflies, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. They're, they're pretty spectacular. I think they are in Prince Edward Island. I just never saw them where I was. Like, I think yeah. that they're there. But anyways, they're very magical. Thank Let the fireflies <laughs> unite us. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you have for us to start the evening? Afternoon? Afternoon. The it's afternoon. like night in here. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce a very good friend of mine. I hope so. And an incredible Nova Scotian talent, Seamus Erskine. Yes. Seamus. Everybody welcome Seamus Erskine. Yes. Now, um, Seamus and I, this first song, um, he wrote it maybe a year and a half ago or so. And then we decided to, to pursue it together, but we've never yet performed it. Okay. Oh. Um, so this is the first time, the I debut. hope everyone. The debut. <laughs> All What's right. it called again? It's Some Kind of a Mystery. All right. Give it a shot. Let's do it. <laughs> I wish I knew what to say I want another chance to come or away Or away The moment I saw your face I knew I can't explain it but it's true Some kind of mystery in your eyes. I want to know why. Some kind of mystery. chance to find a way a way I want to know how you feel I want you to know my love is real for real the 
moment I saw your face, I knew I can't explain it, but it's true. Some kind of mystery in your eyes. I'll never know why. Some kind of mystery. People are clapping at home. Are you feeling that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm from Prince Edward Island, and um, I'm pretty sure maybe someone, maybe there's someone in a watching right now that can type into the chat whether they are native to PEI. I think I saw them in in Iowa for the first time. <laughs> Lost my mind. Um, I I don't know. Well, I guess probably. Um, have you been to Cape Breton since the pandemic has happened? Um, yes. You have, yeah. But you probably haven't been to Newfoundland. When have the you? bubble opened last year, I went for a month. Oh, so amazing. just stayed there. Yeah. yeah. And have you been home to Jamaica? Oh, not since February 2020, right before the pandemic. Right. Oh. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I'm excited to get back to PEI, for sure. Yeah. Have you been? Um, I went for Christmas. Okay. I went home and isolated and, and oh was gosh. home for the better part of a, of a month. So it's been six months, yeah. I'm excited to swim in the ocean. And uh, I know that we are also uh, three quarters surrounded by ocean here. It's not <laughs> lost on me that I do have access to the ocean here. <laughs> but you know. As somewhere that has a lot of oceans, your, your home oceans are, you know. Yeah, you home know, ocean. <laughs> it's your, your own favorite ocean. Home ocean's the best ocean. <laughs> I mean, home ocean. Think about Jamaican oceans. Home ocean. <laughs> yeah, right? They're probably warmer than... The Gulf of St. Lawrence. So warm. So I went warm. to Crystal Crescent the other day and did a polar dip. You I nearly in. died. <laughs> <laughs> We'd probably no. be like, this <laughs> is balmy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no, it's, it is summer. <laughs> no. Is it? It's <laughs> almost <laughs> summer. To be <laughs> fair, yeah, June yeah, right. is it's true. There's a, few a days. little cocky to be getting in <laughs> <laughs> ocean water. You know. But, um, yeah. Anyway, one of, the, one of the things I do love about going home to PEI, I usually go in August. By August, the, the water is... Probably not warm to your standards, but mm -hmm. but warm to mine. Yeah. And um, I like swimming with my dad. And Father's Day is next weekend, and the, I'm sad to be missing it again this year. But um, after a swim that I had with him uh, a few years ago, I I wrote this song, just thinking about like the relationship, our ever changing relationship with time as we get older. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I feel myself thinking about it as in contexts with different things. There's lots of nieces and nephews in my family right now, and they're just like such a marker of time. But also, as we see, like my, I'm seeing my parents age, and it's a marker of time. And and it's and then it's just kind of like I really have to pay attention to what's going on. So, um, so yeah, this is a song called "The Swimmer." Old man, 
please live to be an old man swim with me among the waves among the waves time sets us free among the waves among the waves my love is deepest for you deepest for you so please live to be an old able to cry I feel like in a year I'm just sitting over here like feeling the familiar swell just like coming up it's like listen you got to keep it together over here um it's so gorgeous your record it didn't it come out last year January yeah, yeah. and because I remember listening it to uh, so in February I instituted this every day I would walk at night in February yeah, yeah yeah why I don't know but I just had never done it I'd never meditated ever, like f consistently and I'd never walked outside which is a very easy thing to do both easy yeah so annoying but easy and I listened, I remember walking around the commons listening to your record and um, Heirloom. Yeah. And uh, it's stunning and wonderful. And I feel like you're maybe one of the only people that actually did a release show, a pandemic release show, like an actual show. Yeah, it happened. It just happened so that like things opened enough that we could fit like 200 people in a church safely yeah. in Halifax. And it was just like the, my favorite show of life, I think, because we were so. Everyone who was there was so has, t has t told me about it. I didn't get to go, but it, but uh, everyone said it was spectacular. It was probably such an unbelievable like drink. Yeah, of music I think for like that time. that's exactly it. Like I yeah. felt like and still feel like I've been building up so much of this energy that usually is like it, it frees itself by doing shows and like the exchange of energy with audience and other musicians. And so I I definitely felt so like just squandered by it and then felt like I was set free for just a night because yeah. you know if it happened like two days on either side of the night we played that show we wouldn't have been able to do it and yeah. so it just like parted enough for me to like <laughs> express myself yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah it was really it was a very important that's so great show. well it's yeah. an unbelievable record it's called heirloom I can't wait until Look you it up. can. Yeah, we would love for you to express yourself here. I'm going to express myself. <laughs> Probably about time as well. Um, that was so beautiful. Oh, I love that you. song. Oh, um, there are so many things that I wish that I could have kept over time and that hope that I can keep. Um, and I, I didn't write this song 
really for anyone in particular, it was just like kind of all of the moments that if I go into my mind Rolodex, <laughs> pop up and it's like, oh, that would have been a nice nugget to hold on to. <laughs> um, and I adopted a puppy actually through the pandemic, which you did as well. Um, her name is Duck and she's a little baby and she better be watching at home. I'm gonna quiz her later. Um, and I'd like to dedicate this to her because she brought me kind of not the only joy through this year, but just a lot of it. I will keep you if it were up to me. I would keep you if it were up to me. All I call it that if you must. I've been warming to your eyes for months. And at this fighting city life I would call on you anytime I would keep you if you were all to me I would keep you if it were Yeah, you lit it up. You were the brightest one. Yeah, you lit it up. You were the right one. Oh, fortune, worry not for my own. I'll stay honest, handing over all I know. And at this side, taking liberty of all your lines. We were here, but we'll be gone now in no time. keep you if it were up to me I would keep you if it were up to me yeah you hit it Yeah, you lit it up, you were the right one, I would keep you, I would keep you, I would keep you, I would keep you. Just, yeah, I'm just going to just gonna be right here. Just keep singing. <laughs> that was beautiful. 
Um, Dave, did, your record came out right before the pandemic, too. Was it later um, in 2019? Yeah, or was it was it the very end of 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So All Types of Ways. Um, All Types of Ways. Yeah. <laughs> monster record. Thank another you. monster record. Yeah. Made by a body of yours from your own town, maybe, up that way. Yes, Not the same right. town. Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gordy Samson produced it. He's the, no relation. Everyone thinks he's my dad or my cousin or yeah. my brother. Or, yeah. And I'm sure I get a lot of gigs and work out <laughs> of people thinking that. So... <laughs> I'll take um, it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, we, I was able to kind of get a, a year out of that pretty yeah. much. Um, <laughs> so, it, you know, it's nice. It's I'm actually just starting to start a new record, and I have a song coming out next next week. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I got lucky kind of getting to, you know, work that record. Um, yeah. This is a song off that record. And um, I'm from Sydney. I'm from Cape Breton. Um, and Sydney was a steel town. Sydney was a coal town, and like most small towns everywhere all over the world, industry comes and goes, and and it's it's like that everywhere. Um, and sometimes when one industry leaves, another one pops up, and sometimes that doesn't happen. And some some titty, some cities and some towns. <laughs> I just say titties. I'm sorry. Did. I'm that sorry. Is the best <laughs> moment that's happened and will I'm happen. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I said that. Beautiful. I'm, and it's the greatest. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Moment of all time. Okay. Um, gold. <laughs> TV gold. I wish there was an audience. <laughs> we could hear. Okay, this is what happens when you don't play shows for a year. <laughs> you say it's like, in, don't say titties. Don't say titties. <laughs> <laughs> <There's> like, <laughs> oh God, this, I'm having such a great time. There okay. Oh, that was great. Okay. In some steel town, coal, <laughs> steel <laughs> industry. Um, like I said, Cape Breton was a coal town, steel town, and now it's tourism, it's it's industry, is its island itself. It's people come to that's you know, tourism, that industry is employing a lot of people. And um, when I left Sydney, I kind of had a weird relationship with it, and I just thought that leaving Cape Breton was what I needed and what I wanted, and I thought a big city was the place to go. And I really realized uh, later on in life that it is. I can't wait to get back there and move home. And uh, but I wrote a song about kind of those small those small towns and industry. And it's called Boomtown. And uh, I wrote it at my kitchen table at 3:30 in the morning during Christmas time with Gordy Gordy Sampson, because um, we both never got to write a song about our hometown really. And uh, so we wrote this song called Boomtown. <laughs>
walk these streets, but there ain't no sign. But I still like to come back sometimes. This used to be a boom town. All my friends, they still hang out. Get a job, fall in love. It's interesting to like put like coming from small places. Do you consider Jamaica to be like a small place? Oh yeah. So <laughs> it's like, isn't it an interesting push and pull relationship? If this is true or not for you guys, mm -hmm. which you kind of have spoken to, like the push and pull relationship of like, I gotta get out of here and yeah. I gotta get home. I always kind of think of you know like maybe you get to the point like I feel like I got I was like 18 and I'm like I gotta get out of here. Nobody yeah. understands me. I need to go far away. <laughs> and then yeah, you get older and you're just like, the there's something about yeah. that original landscape that really informs who you are and and that's like you have to go kind of go away and like f figure it out and then and then you are inevitably pulled back is it like that for you oh, as absolutely well? yeah. um the further away i get from jamaica the more i appreciate the simpler things that it mm. has to offer now yeah. jamaica is is everything between absolute bliss and devastation yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> everything in between yeah. um but 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 it's my home and mm -hmm. i love it a lot and when i'm there i'm like oh i don't like this little thing mm -hmm. but ultimately the love and appreciation i have for the culture and that place is immeasurable yeah 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 i feel like yeah when you grow up in a tiny place it's like you learn to move through the world in a in a way where you're you're like, yeah, well, of course I would help that person or, you yeah. know, like maybe people <laughs> less entitled, <laughs> you take up a little less space. Yeah. Or and you just you know. or you make space. And you're just like, oh, you don't make you know. It's space. like it's like you would yeah. stop for someone on the road <laughs> or you would. It was a very funny thing. I don't know if you guys the first time you ever went to New York City or if you've been. I have. Terrifying. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I, I love I think that's why I love living on the East Coast. I love being from here. I love living here because yeah. it's, it's manageable and small and most people care. Not yeah, everyone. But most people. <laughs> I really love how um, you segued into talking about that and, and just our different perspectives with where we're from. The next song that I'm about to sing is called Natural Kali. And I didn't write this song, but it was given to me for my 18th birthday. My dad uh, wrote this song. What? It's called Natural Kali. And, um, and the words are just incredible. I think it really takes a very hard look at the state of the world today and then it also like goes on to like ask us to look into ourselves so we can change mm -hmm. so um yeah this one's natural kali awesome. oh my dad's name is earl chinna smith by the way and he's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> Smoking natural Kali I'm getting inspiration And spreading it to the nation Spreading it Cause that's my work Yes, I'm spreading it Cause there's nothing left to do My people Look around you Can't you see we're living in poverty. This pain is too much for me. Oh, ja, oh, ja, oh, ja. 
save the people, free them from captivity. This pain is too much for me. Oh, cha, oh, cha, oh, cha. To enter Jaja Kingdom, you got to be full of wisdom, knowledge and understanding, given you by command. Ja commands you to do his work. And if you don't, he will raise up stones. Oh, oh people. Look around you, can't you see? We're living in poverty. This pain is too much for me. Oh, Ja, oh, Ja, oh, Ja. Save the people, free them from captivity. This pain is too much for me. Oh, Ja, oh, Ja. you see we're living in poverty this pain is too much for me oh ja oh ja oh ja save the people free them from captivity this pain is too much for me oh ja oh ja <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. What's that that you were singing? Ocha? Oh, ja. Oh, ja. Ja, like Ja Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like Rastafarian. That is the ultimate deity. Ja. Okay. Ja. Cool. So it's like saying, oh, God, yeah. save the people. Because we're not doing so well. Yeah. And we aren't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of challenges. There are yeah. a lot of reasons to be grieving right now, for sure. Absolutely. And our hearts go out to everyone who is in. We are grieving for lots of reasons. Um, is your dad watching, do you think? I would love that. If not, I'm sending this video to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful performance. I can't even imagine getting a song from my dad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he does like music. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is a potato farmer. By nice. And um, among many other things, he's a funny guy. I've lost, I've just been so excited about listening to all of you guys sing. I don't know what's happening now. Oh, yes. Right. I did put also a record out <laughs> um, in February 2020, so right after you, Kim. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the thing that I understand, it's like, you know, we're trying to figure out, like, was it good? Was your timing good? Was my timing good? What timing is good? C doesn't matter. Perfect. But the one thing that I think is great is that people kept releasing music all year, and nothing stopped that from happening, mm -hmm. and I love that. And I, I, I mean, it's, it's like this beautiful role that music pl plays, and everyone will have a pandemic soundtrack, no doubt, and maybe we'll be on it, hopefully we'll be <laughs> on it. You've released a couple of things within this last year as well. Yes, we have mm -hmm. um, chat their names in response to another kind of pandemic. Yes, exactly. Um, but we'll, 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 we won't we'll do that next yeah. round, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my record is uh, called Bravado, and I was really writing from that <clears throat> realization of, of kind of that disparity that exists between how I walk out in the world and who I am when I'm by myself. And um, they're not super far apart, but they're, there's, some, there's some disparity between those two. I think that, um, so I was kind of examining, I was kind of examining my experience of that. And uh, I really do hope at some point that they just be, I can just be like one calm person. Um, I don't know if it'll ever happen. <laughs> it's like, introvert with very cop good coping skills um, but um, all the songs I'm singing tonight are off of that record and I'm going to sing a song called The Agreement which is without specific details which are none of anyone's business <laughs> um, it's kind of about like relationships can take different 
shapes and play different roles in our lives, mm. and um, depending on where you're at. This is a very non-specific description. That's none of anyone's business. <laughs> okay, the agreement. You come to town, I'll take you in And we'll spend the night in our beautiful sin And I know I'm not just any But I know that I'm one of many I get lost in the stories you tell Above your gaze and under your spell And I know I'm not just any But I know that I'm one of many guys oh Kim Kim what uh, are you excited about right now are you letting yourself look forward to things um is it time yet I that's the thing I struggle with like often where yeah. it took me a long time to even see like a month ahead of now mm -hmm. I think it's probably just like the well of despair mm -hmm. um but I have been feeling that lately, especially with the summer, and, and people's energy feels really um, buzzy right now in a way that it hasn't for a long time. Um, and so it it makes me feel excited with, with like weariness <laughs> a little bit, you know, because everything is scary. Um, but you can just see people like lighten up a little bit, um, even just on themselves, and so that's a really beautiful thing. So mm -hmm. I am looking forward. Yes, that's to things and people. <laughs> You're just looking forward, and that's fine. And how's that? You know, like really good. That's all you can do. Do you have specific musical things that you have like actually scheduled? It's a ter scheduling is a terrifying word, but it's yeah. I I mean, <laughs> I feel like over the spring, there's been so many things that have just like been booked and canceled and booked and yeah, postponed, yeah. and um, it just my mind is like just dragonfly like I can't like millions of dragonflies like I yeah. can't like um I can't remember anything yeah I can't you haven't see had anything yeah. exactly where I'm just like no somebody tell me if I need <laughs> to play a show or something and then you know yeah. but otherwise like the summer feels really um feels like there's potential and um you know a few definitely scheduled a few things hoping great but yeah learning not to have too much expectation mm -hmm. on that 
<laughs> so that you just, you know, you don't yeah. plummet. Self-preservation. <laughs> exactly. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll sing us a song. Please. If, if you like. Um, God, that was beautiful. That line that you'll cry if you, if you marry. I, I remember hearing it the first time and like, I feel like I nearly perished. Like I just, like nearly fell over. It's so beautiful. Anyway, um, I this it's a compliment. song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a very good way. Possible My God, death. it's all like, yeah. <laughs> just I'm choking on my own tears. Um, this is a song called Neighborhoods. I think that I'm going to try to play. And it's like relationships take such physical space, like move through so much physical space um, besides the emotional aspect, which I'm really used to. If I'm specialist of anything, it's of my own feelings. And so um, I sort of took a perspective to look outside of myself not too far, <laughs> but with this song, like thinking about the spaces and landscape and the cities or titties um, that we live in and um, that we move through in relationships. That was really well done. <laughs> <laughs> that that we good. live in. And yeah, so what do we do with those things after, after we've moved through that like relationship or experience or whatever and I started to see them almost as like walking through them um as a memorial in a way and so that's that's sort of where this comes from I've been waiting here 
That's the last song on the record, right? Yeah. Such a great way to end. <laughs> music. <laughs> Dave, have you ever known anything about music? <laughs> Not much. Not much. Um, that was beautiful. Oh my. You. Yeah, oh, you sorry. did say titties. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Having your love in there. Um, Dave, you mentioned that you have a new song coming out next Friday, but what's what? So it's part of a bigger project that's already done, or is um, it works? No, I'm kind of starting. Like that's kind of a one-off that actually. Um, uh, I wrote just before the pandemic mm -hmm. with... Um, just before? Yeah. That's so interesting based on it's, the title. It's, um, it's kind of the ideas I miss all my friends, but it's actually about... I'm not. This is not a lead. I'm not playing it right now. <laughs> but uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I wrote it about turning 30 and all of my friends getting um, labradoodle dogs and <laughs> and houses and mortgages. And I just felt like I was trailing behind and it's... And I was always trying to reach out to them, and no one would hang out with me because they have babies, and they have dogs, and they have real-life stuff. And I just, I was missing all of my friends because they were. wouldn't come. So mm -hmm. I kind of, and then a pandemic ha happened, mm -hmm. and then a course that says I miss all my friends, mm -hmm. you know. So it's beautifully well-timed and well-named. Yes. And, and so um, are you... Have you worked? Are you have like enough songs in the can for another record? Oh or yeah, you've begun? Uh, absolutely. You've yeah, begun? no. So I started kind of. I'm doing it with a guy named Paul Moke in Ooh. in um, Nashville. Nice. So we're kind of been going back and forth, uh, doing it. We're going to do it remotely, but now it's starting to open up. So we took a few months, and I'm just going to go down to Nashville and do it. So. Right on. But it's that's so yeah, great. It's cool. He's amazing. Yeah. He produced Caitlin Smith's record. Yeah, Caitlin well, Smith. Well, yeah. Um, the Starfire record. Yeah. The so that's how I got so to meet him. Was so through, good. Was through Caitlin. <sighs> me oh my god well tell us this song's called lucky and, uh, i wrote it for my partner mercy we've been together for a long time If I can make them laugh, then maybe they'll like me Say the things I think I should say Like every class clown in the seventh grade You play trumpet in your high school bench Well, I was skipping class with all my friends Cigarettes, man, I thought I was cool I don't know how I ended up with you How'd I get so lucky? I don't know why you love me So many nights, so many times you could've run How'd I get so lucky? I don't know why you love me With every trip around the sun How'd I get so lucky? I've got a 
try to be somebody When I'm waking up with you beside me And this world can change with every season And I'm never scared and you're the reason And I'm not mad at getting old price I paid for the things I know But my grass is green and my skies are blue Every minute I spend with you How'd I get so lucky? I don't know why you love me So many nights, so many times you could have run Every trip around the sun How'd I get so I still think you're the life I'm a part of. You can make me laugh more than anybody. I'm so glad you love me. How'd I get so lucky? Cute. Cute. It's so nice to picture of Marcy while love you're Marcy. singing that song. Love Marcy. <laughs> what? How long ago did you write that? Um, last year. And what did she say when you she first heard it? You were here. It's all right. You could you could, could use a bridge. No, <laughs> she did not. She did not. Say that. No, she loved it. She's a big fan. She'll never always tell me fully though. You know, she keeps me on my toes. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, keep you on your toes. Keep, keep going. She, you know, she obviously she loved it. And you know, she's. I mean, we love each other. We've been together for a long time. So yeah, those songs are really easy to write. Did you meet in high school? Um, I met her my first year at Saint Vincent University. Um, actually, my third year, and she's a year younger. And she was my mother was her high school principal at Glace Bay High. No, nope. and she came <laughs> cute. <laughs> and she came up to me at on oh my god, on Halloween, dressed as a a fairy at a bar called Pat's Place <laughs> and said, I know you, your mother suspended me in high school. <laughs> and, and that's how we met each other. And are you like, fantastic, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I could say that. I think so. We started dating shortly after that, I think. So. Oh, my that's God. The, uh, yeah. That's so cute. I don't know what I would do if someone wrote a song like that at me. Beautiful. Let's hope that never <laughs> happens. Just <laughs> 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 joking. <laughs> um, amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the, there's been a lot of hype around this, little bits of sharing. Ne so your single's coming out next Friday. Yeah. It's called I Miss My Friends. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Jamila. Oh, Rose. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, what are you excited about? Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about the couple of tracks that you put out. What, yeah. Chant their names and, yep. Well, let's talk about those, but what I'm excited yes, about is even about? more exciting. So um, the last few releases we've had is Chat Their Names, which was, which was a, a release that was born under dread circumstances, mm -hmm. um, inspired by the, well, our team's feedback towards the George Floyd killing and all of the situations around that. Yeah. Um, not super translatable acoustic, and that is the only reason why I'm not singing it mm -hmm. today. But let's look ahead. We do have a release coming out on the 21st of June called Sugar and Spice, nice. so look out for that. And the debut album I've been working on since I was in diapers. Hopefully, we can, <laughs> we can put that out in August. My team is working super hard on it, and for the first time in my life, I feel like I have all the support yeah. that I need to make it actually come to fruition, That's so I'm excited so cool. about that. And where did you make it? 
here. Well, some of some of the stuff was recorded in Jamaica, yeah. but most of it is here, and it's with my band. Yeah. And yeah, and it's awesome. And just big up, just take this opportunity to do a quick shout out yeah. to Richard McNeil Nulo. He has been a driving force in accommodating and facilitating and helping to direct my creativity with this album. That's so, so. cool. It's so great to find someone that you can like collaborate and really who you can bounce ideas off of and it's it's important. Absolutely. It can be a lonely thing. It totally can. And yeah. he's been a brother because, you know, he has the technical stuff down. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. He, knows how to, he knows which buttons to press. All the buttons, yeah. Bless, bless the people who press the buttons. And yeah. also my own buttons, too, in terms of getting me to act and to create and yeah. keeping me accountable, Yeah, which is also really good, too. And did you, when, so you went to Jamaica right in February 2020. Did you do yeah. some of that recording then? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, we did a live off the floor recording at Tough Gong, Bob Marley's studio there. We did some live shows as well. It was an action packed 10 days. But looking back at it, I'm so happy we took that opportunity because three weeks later, we did not have that opportunity yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I just wanted to hi highlight this one thing because I thought it was amazing. I listened to uh, the podcast that you did with the Symphony Nova Scotia yeah. conductor, and you actually performed with the Whalers. I did. Like, around the world. <laughs> yes. No big so, deal. So another shout out to my sister, Maria Smith. So my dad is a Whalers alumni, yeah. and my sister is also a Whalers alumni. So the opportunity came up when I was about 21 years old. It was my first time ever touring, yeah. and that is the stage I went on. So thank you to that entire team, Aston Family Man Barrett. Yeah. So I, it was terrifying, but you know, I wasn't scared after that of any other tour. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it must have been, yeah, it must have been incredible. 21? 21 years old. Wow. Yeah. But then with my sister, who is oh. was older than me and was able to guide me, so I understood tour life quite yeah. quite from an early age quite yeah. well. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to hear that record. That's I hope that it could do this have a name? Not yet. Not but yet. you'll hear, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> do a big old unveiling, try to make it fancy. Cool. <laughs> we, will, we will watch for it. We will watch Thank for you. It. Yeah. Um this next song I'm about to sing though is Sorry, you know, Dave and Marcy. This one's a heartbreak one. Yeah. Heartbreak <laughs> rules. It's my favorite kind. So let's talk. So you know how people fall in love? <laughs> this one's called fail in love. So it's like, let's just call it what it is. Let's just balance that scale. <laughs> yes. I hope you like it, guys. Today I didn't want to get out of bed These morning blues got some shit running through my head I'm feeling stuck turning back or I missed the turn And my heart is caving in I can feel the burn Cause my seen it clear as day but I didn't want to face it and I went out of my way I didn't want to break it cause I I didn't want to fail in love oh no why I, I didn't want to fail in love with you shame what a predicament tell me how did we get here how much more must we pretend no of all the things I wish we would work through you know you got me going crazy Cause I can live without you So despite what they'll have to say I just might get out of my way Just for a little try Just for a little taste Before I 
die I'll go cause I can't stay with you with you do a few announcements again. That's not really announcements, it's just things I want to say. I want to thank SOCAN and the Songwriters Association again um, for sponsoring this specific event. We love songs. Mm -hmm. We hope to write lots of more songs in our lives. And um, the ECMA has done a quick and um, great job of pivoting multiple times to make this event still happen a full conference, virtual conference, and um, a gala award show, which is beautiful on Thursday, and uh, just many, many events. And so I want to just personally thank, but I'm sure that we can all thank, well, I'm so nice to be a part of this beautiful event. Um, thank you so much to the ECMA, the East Coast Music Association, and all of the incredible staff and crew, and no, and no doubt volunteers who have helped to keep the, the event going. Um, I want to thank Rockbound Productions, who's helping right here in Halifax with the uh, with the video and sound. And FMAV is the location that we're at. All the crew here just taking exceptional care of us. Um, thank you so much. It's it's a, a comfortable stage. We're just we're gonna put people in it next time. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone tuning in, we're excited that you're here. Thank you so much. Um, we can't wait to be in the same room with you again. Um, after this is, this is the first songwriter circle, there's a second songwriter circle right after this with Owen, so Owen Sound, o Sound Lee, Bria Isabel, Heather Rankin, and Joel Plaskett, and that's on immediately after this. Exciting. And then after that is the Music Industry Awards Part 2. And I don't know if that's the last thing that's happening. Is that the thing that closes out the ECMA? It's amazing. And then these guys can take a break. And by that, I mean tear everything down. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Yeah. Just, yeah, thank you to everyone who's working really hard to make this easy for us. And it is such an honor to be on the stage with you and just to be an, um, I am your audience, <laughs> one of your audience members tonight. I'm, I'm, it's, it's so amazing to sit next to people who are such um, incredible singers. So thank you for that. Um, we're going to do one more song, and I would love if everyone would sing on this, and so I'll just take a moment to, to teach you the thing. It's very easy. Um, the chorus goes. Love comes back, and love comes back, and love comes back around. If you want to try it. Oh, love comes back, and love comes back, and love comes back around. So that chorus happens twice in that exact form. And then the last one, um, it does that form once where it says around. And then the next time it goes around, it just goes, love comes back, love comes back, love comes back, love comes back. OK? And then I might just break off and do like a quick Beyonce, <laughs> super quick, um, <laughs> in, my own, in my own way. Um, what else? Does anyone else have anything else they want to plug? We've Kim's record Heirloom was out last year. Uh, all types of ways. It was out in late 2019 from Dave. We're excited about Jimmy Lee's <laughs> record. Um, Seamus, do you have anything that you want to add? Do you have anything happening that you want to share? Um, th there's going to be stuff in the works, you know, in the future. Um, but right now, uh, it's tough to say, you know. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm thinking watermelon after this. I'm thinking of taking the jacket off. 
and eating watermelon. That's a great plan. If you want to get in on that. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited to be able to move around Atlantic Canada again. I love being from here. I'm excited that we're, we're starting to open up again, and I'm excited to get to PEI, and I uh, just feel really grateful for um, all that we have. And again, our hearts are with everyone who's kind of in the an, in the large grieving process right now over lots of things that are hard, and um, but that we're noticing. And this is a song called "Love Comes." It's called "The Return." In brackets, "Love Comes Back." I did that several times on this record, and. Um, I wrote it after um, having a conversation with two of my lady friends who each have two kids each. And, they, and within 24 hours, I had the same conversation. They kind of had the same conversation with me talking about like being a mom and being worried about their kids. Are they managing their kids' emotions in the right way? And I'm thinking to myself, well, who taught anyone to do that for anybody? Did anyone have their emotions managed well as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there a book on that? Even if you read it, would you be able to do it? You know, it's a it's a tall order. I was thinking about this when you were right, um, singing your song about Marcy, of like, you know, how can how can you live up to the way that someone loves you? How can a parent live up to the way a kid is looking at them for what they're looking at them for, mm. when they're just a human who happens to have kids? Yeah. And um, these two moms with two kids were literally had the same conversation with me within 24 hours, and I pulled them in on this right together. I kind of started started it, and then I was like, we have to get. We have to get everyone together because this is like, it's impossible to experience the wonderful things about ourselves. We see that best through other people's eyes. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness if we're lucky to have those eyes reflecting back. But it's still uncomfortable to receive and to be reflected back and to believe and really, really have and believe self-worth. It's, it's a, a lifelong struggle, I believe, and um, can sh you know rear its head in, in ways and one of those ways is when people try and love you and you're just like, I don't know that, I'm, that, it's, that I can do what you want me to do kind of thing and be the thing you think that I am. You know, I'm not. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what the song was about and it kind of, yeah, it, it, it works in the ways that um, a child to a parent or a lover to a lover or a friend to a friend, it kind of crosses the board. And um, if we can, we, we need to be open to receiving love as much as it is. Why is it easier to give than it is to receive? But so, yeah, the first chorus will come. Come in when you hear it. It's fine. You're not going to screw it up. Sing harmonies if you want. <laughs> I celebrate you in advance. And, um, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. We're really honored to play for you. And uh, this is called The Return. I wish my heart was a hammer I'd put you back together But it's just a heart like yours If my hands were a paddle I'd pull you through this trouble But they're just hands like yours hands can do be here to hold you and when you lose your way here's what my heart would say love comes back and love comes back and love comes back around sorry it's once the first time i really screwed you that time sorry <laughs> When words are a rainstorm, the lightning crash and the thunder roar, well, they're just words like yours. And when that storm is through, new words will find you, and what those words will say, you're gonna be okay. Love comes back. back 
wish your eyes were a window I could see the me that you know They're just eyes like mine for singing. That's Kim Harris from Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, Dave Sams Sampson from Sydney, Nova Scotia, Jamila from Jamaica, and Seamus Erskine from right here. I'm Rose Cousins. Thank you so much. Um, have a great rest of the day. Nova Scotia's Cape Breton Island has been ranked the number one island in North America by Condé Nast readers. We look forward to the day when we can safely welcome visitors back to our number one island destination. We're saving a seat for you. Cape Breton Island. Your heart will never leave. When you commit to a lifelong career in music, you do so without many safety nets. You're really going hard, you're, you're touring a lot, there's a lot of late nights. Sometimes when you're living on a really, really small dime, your self-care is the first thing that is thrown out of the window. People push through a lot of pain and a lot of trauma in order to present their art. And that's usually wonderful, but there's always sometimes a cost. It's beauty in the butterfly, but also in the moth. There's beauty in the sinner before and after he got lost There's beauty in the traitor if freedom's on the line There's beauty in the outcast if beauty saves your life And I, I keep on For those of us in the music industry, there is very often nothing to fall back on. And unison is something to fall back on in times of dire need. Yeah, I lost my voice for a few years. For three years, I basically couldn't sing at all, and that's been my main bread and butter for a long time. Out on the road, there's not a lot of time for just you. The transient nature of this job in every regard is not necessarily very conducive to people that are suffering from mental illness. After my breakdown, I was on the floor, broken, and no one knew about it. We dedicate our lives to doing it, and usually at a young point where you don't think about the future at all. So there's somebody looking out for us if, God forbid, something should happen. There's a lot of pressure on artists. We all need something or someone to lean on. Maybe there's beauty in the mother, and in the father and the ghost. But then there's beauty in all others, if decency's the most. And beauty in the cost If along the way the purpose Was that beauty wasn't lost So I Keep on moving When I was out playing in bars There were many times where uh, things got a little bit dire
help that Unison offers is incredible. Everything from financial assistance, counseling services, physiotherapy, legal advice, and so on. I had no idea that these things were available. And they're available to everybody in the Canadian music industry. Their service is 100% discreet and free. Just know that this is a great program to, to help people when they're down. It's a kind of an insurance policy. There's beauty in creation, as there's beauty in its loss. There's beauty in the sinner before and after he got lost. Unison came through for me in a big way. They covered my mortgage payment and was able to put groceries in the cupboard while I took the time to heal. Sometimes life gets difficult. Unison saves lives. I know this because they help save mine. You don't have to do everything on your own. You can, you know, there's people out there who can help you. To help sick and beautiful artists who are struggling, sometimes not always sick, sometimes just having a hard time. It's keeping the music flowing. It's keeping our culture nice and rich. So if you need help, just ask for it. If you love music and you need music, please donate. Please donate. Please donate to the Unison Benevolent Fund. She's one of those far away people, just one of those runaway girls. I know she's gonna run away soon. You'll think that she's fair weather Sunday, but soon she'll be slip away Monday I know she's gonna run away soon the scent of lilac on a springtime day as the city passes by fixing her lipstick in the glass display donning a She's one of those far away people, just one of those runaway girls. I know she's gonna run away Must be something in her history, some love loss or some regret. Why she runs is still a mystery, she hasn't discovered yet. She's one of those far away people. Just one of those runaway girls. I know she's gonna run away soon. She's gonna run away soon. She's gonna. Welcome 
to the second of two uh, 2021 East Coast Music Songwriter Circles. Um, I am your host, Heather Rankin, and I'm delighted to be here and to be uh, honored to be sharing the semicircle um, with uh, all y'all. Um, three fabulous, uh, wonderfully talented and accomplished singer songwriters slash producers slash what don't you guys do? <laughs> um, anyway, and also to my left, please uh, give a welcome to uh, Kim Dunn, who has agreed to play ke keys with me today. Um, thank you for coming, Kim. Um, so anyway, we're going to move over to my immediate right, uh, to Owen O'Sound Lee, mm -hmm. um, who is was recently... You, W grew up in Toronto. I did. And yes. you uh, moved to Halifax. You're a Haligonia now since yes, uh, seven or eight years. Yep, seven have years ago, yeah. Yeah, and you now have a family here. And, uh, yes. um, well, you're an award winner and you've collaborated with some amazing artists. And, well, you can tell us all about that. Uh, <laughs> but most recently, you were awarded um, African Nova Scotians Rising Star Award. Yes, I was. Yeah. Just recently, a couple months ago, yeah. What an honor and, and well deserved. <laughs> Thank and you. Checking you out on the YouTube. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, well, Owen. Awesome. All right, well, let's get into this. Yeah. First song I'm going to do is just a reflection of the times that we're living in. <laughs> a show last night live from the basement <laughs> and my friends got married online congratulations I know we still talk through cell phone screens but I ain't seen folks since 2019 it's crazy everybody got to deal with this isolation yeah put up a throwback post of the way things used to go Mm, too many Facebook pages changed to memorials. Wish I could pay my respects, but I can't go to the funeral. Now nah, it's due to social restrictions. That's just how the story goes. It's kind of hard, I'll admit it. I'm trying to stay optimistic, but all this keeping the distance. It got me losing my way, yeah. Don't want to be stuck at home again. Thinking about the way things could have been. Can we go back to the days we lived with no reservations? Yeah, it feels like the walls keep closing in. I just got to hold on till the end. But I just can't live in isolation, yeah. I got a shrink on the phone line, just trying to cope with these hard times. I got to be strong for my family, even though my health took a nosedive. And I forget the days of the week. It's all the same thing to me. Want to take a plane overseas, spend a couple days by the beach and soak in the breeze, but they won't let me visit. I'm trying to stay optimistic, but all this keeping the distance. It got me losing my way, yeah. Don't want to be stuck at home again. Thinking about the way things could have been. Can we go back to the days we lived with no reservations? Yeah, it feels like the walls keep closing in. I just got to hold on till the end. But I just can't live in isolation. Let me see your hands up if you feel like me. Someday soon we're going to all be free. Oh, I just can't live in isolation. Eh, it got me inside till I just can't breathe. Trying to stay safe, but it just won't leave. Oh, I just can't live in isolation. Another day at home again. Thinking about what could have been. Can we go back to living with no reservations? It feels like the walls are closing in, but I gotta make it to the end. Cause I just can't live in isolation. Woo. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Funny times for sure. 
I know when, when we first locked down, mm -hmm. I decided I was going to accomplish all these things. And <laughs> right. I went online and I was, I'm going to get up every day and I'm going to do uh, yoga. So I signed up for 30 days of yoga and I'm on day 18. <laughs> I was a year and a half <laughs> later. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Over to you, Joel. Joel Plaskett, he needs no introduction. You've been around for, for a while, and I was looking at your Wikipedia. Holy smoke, you have pages and pages of awards, and yeah. every kind of award. And uh, you've got made a ton of records, and you've charted a number of times, and pretty amazing. Well, thank you, yeah. I've, I've been playing a while, I guess, yeah. Like, I, you know, since I, it dawned on me recently that it's like, I'm, well, I just turned 46, and I've been touring since I was 18 so I guess it'll we'll, we'll push 30 years and <laughs> a couple of years of, yeah. of, of live work which has been so uh, this has been the longest I mean I'm sure the same for everyone the longest I've ever been like off the stage I mean this is uh, nice to have a reason to get together and sing even though it's sort of beaming out virtually just to share the stage with someone is wild yeah. this is the first time for me in a year yeah. so um, but can I yeah. can I touch you <laughs> <laughs> Only th well, when we watch <laughs> the playback back. Yeah, only, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, maybe I'll sing a song. Uh, right when the pandemic hit, I released a, a record, uh, a, 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 a box set of, of four albums called 44. Uh, I'd recorded, I wanted to get it out while I was still 44, and so we released it the day before my 45th birthday, which was last April 18th, and now I'm 46. And when we finally tour this record, it'll be... Uh, fall 2022, I suspect, <laughs> so maybe <laughs> we'll change it. But this is the first song from the record, and I've, I haven't sung it too many times since then, uh, so I'll see if I can remember it here. Um, but, uh, you know, and it's it was written... Um, I went down to Memphis to do a bit of the record and uh, and arrived there. Uh, I, I went to Nashville first and did a couple of days of tracking, but my destination uh, mainly was to go to Memphis and work with a couple of people that I knew mm -hmm. there. And I wrote this... Um, on my birthday, uh, the day I turned 44, uh, I wrote it on the drive from Nashville to Memphis and uh, recorded it the next day. Uh, mm -hmm. First take live off the floor with these uh, folks, most of whom I just met, and we just I said, okay, I got a new one, and it goes like this, and we recorded it, and that's it, and it's pretty scrappy, but uh, now I just have to remember it for you here, um, live, uh, in, in, or semi-live. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Out into the universe. It's called Collusion. I'm in this country of nowhere, on this sphere of spheres, on the 19th day of April, when the full moon reappears as a new one for the old guard. It's a cautionary tale from the front porch in the backyard, one last postcard in the mail. From the 440 Parkway, you can take the 40 West, Perhaps it's best we part ways till I get this off my chest. We could end before it starts up, but then what would be the point? You think she's out, but then she sparks up, cause she loves to rock this joint. Kala, kala, collusion, I got nothing to hide except my imagination. And tired eyes open wide Kala, kala, collusion I'm told that's what they call it down here Maybe Doug was simply bending my ear That's Doug who I was recording with When I said I want to come down to Memphis to record He said, come on down, man, we'll collude And so I thought that's what this song's going to be about He was watching too much TV, I suspect ah, Here we go We're scheming down in dreamland through futures black and white Our minds are crossing in estates and provinces of night Spin some southern gothic and find some northern haze Come on man, come off it, slow it down on lazy days Kala, kala, collusion, man the fix is in Confusing this illusion, is anyone listening in? Kala, kala, collusion, I'm told that's what they call it down here Counting down my 44 years One eye on the white line between the dream and the delusion One on the horizon as we cruise into Kala, kala, collusion, I heard it on the wire Blowing kisses to the missus 
And so it does conspire, kala kala collusion. I'm told that's what they call it down here. But maybe Doug was simply bending my ear. Objections in the rearview mirror may be closer than they appear. lovely long, young lady on the very end, last but not least, um, Bria Isabel. You know, Bria in, is a Gaelic word for beautiful. You are aptly ah. called <laughs> Bria. Um, and Bria is, you're probably the youngest one in the circle, but you've accomplished a lot in your short time in the business. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of years with, with your band, Port Cities, and you've covered some some miles and uh, you've written and collaborated with some really fabulous people as well. And you have a new single. You just had signed a publishing deal, I right? Did, yeah. That's exciting. And you have a great new single, great new video. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Bria Isabel. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe I'm last in this amazing <laughs> circle, but it's so fun to be playing music with, with other people. Um, I'll do a tune I wrote in Nashville where I was spending a lot of time before the pandemic hit um, with a friend um, and it's called Tuxedo and actually I've been working on it with Classified who Owen and I have done a bunch of work with. Actually about a, a month ago Owen and Classified and I, a song we put out last year, we found out it just went gold in Canada. Wow. So oh, that was awesome. Yeah, thank you. My that first gold amazing. record. Yeah. Yours too? Oh, awesome. Yeah, that felt really good after after a pretty wild year. It was nice to get that. But Is that good news? Yeah, good yeah. news. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. I wish we could do that today, but right. I, I can't rap unless you can. <laughs> we need loop. But um, yeah, this is a song Luke's been, been helping me out with, and it's called Tuxedo. Black and white, all buttoned up. Step out of my way, champagne and paper cups. Celebrating the strange excuse to throw a party We can be anybody Don't care if we never change On the left side of the road We don't fit in little boxes Leave glitter and gold Through the holes in our pockets In a t-shirt, a tuxedo Got a rainbow-colored ego Wearing our best kind of different You know we'll be turning the heads You know we'll be turning the heads Julian's got a pretty face Star of the cheerleading team Perfectly out of place In the blue and the green Small town people talking But he just keeps on walking He's not afraid to make a scene On the left side of the road We don't fit in little boxes Leave glitter and gold Through the holes in our pockets In a t-shirt, a tuxedo Got a rainbow-colored ego Wearing our best kind of different You know we'll be turning their heads You know we'll be turning their heads Just come on to the left side of the road We don't fit in little boxes Leave glitter and gold Through the holes in our pockets in a t-shirt, a tuxedo, got a rainbow-colored ego, wearing our best kind of different. You know we'll be turning their heads. You know we'll be turning their heads. The 
we're back back to me oh okay so um i guess what i'll do is a song i wrote as a tribute to my family uh my roots because i started out well i grew up in a big family 12 kids and i spent a lot of my years singing with uh a lot of them but eventually just five of them for many years and uh you know it's as you get older and you're looking back much of my record it my one solo record which i released when i was 45 so don't oh. feel my <laughs> first solo record so don't feel bad um yeah so this is a, s a song i wrote uh, yeah I, I was in i was in a big family 12. you know when when kids wake up in the middle of the night and they they go to their parents bedroom mm -hmm. and they want to climb a bed well when i would do that there was a lineup it was like go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, find somebody else to cry to. Love it. So no that idea. yeah, right? You grew up a big family too. Um, it was it was not uncommon in, in our for our generation, right? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's a different time. But yeah, so this is a song I wrote with David Tyson and it's called We Walk as One.
And singing in church too. You yeah. you grew up singing in church. I did. Well, they didn't I teach did. us to sing like you, they taught you to sing. <laughs> you could give me a few lessons. Oh man, I don't come know. on now. I'm right, subconscious singing next to you. Cause you you studied voice. I did. I went I went to school for vocal jazz performance. Yeah, there so you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll just talk for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> no, like this is a privilege for me. This is awesome. Um, yeah. Gee, you know what? You were speaking about growing up, twelve kids pattering to the room and I was probably I was saving this song for later but I think it'll probably be appropriate to do it now um I'm a father myself I have five children not quite 12 but I know what it feels like to be asleep and then hear the door open (laughs) and pitter patter in the bed now it's a plethora of people in a king bed or a queen bed or whatever um yeah so I released a new song on Friday called the father song right for the father's day season and it's basically a song about my children I have two boys and triplet daughters, so oh, wow. it's fun. You are <laughs> running. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Eight years old and six, my boys and my girls are four years old each, wow. so it's fun. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. So Five is the new 12. Right. <laughs> yeah. I've met my quota. <laughs> be your shelter shield you from storm I'll be your comfort I will keep you warm I'm your protection I'm your support you give me reason you are my source and I won't always get it right but I'm trying my best to be there for you whenever you call I didn't plan this for my life but I have no regrets and the least that I can give you is all through the joy through the pain that's forever and always you're my daughter that won't change i will love you all my days through the joy through the pain through the storm and through the rain i'm here for you i'm here for you because i live for you oh Sometimes you'll cry, but there's no shame in failing. You can give it one more try. Dust off your shoulders, hold your head up high. You're still my joy, you're my purpose, you're my pride. And I won't always get it right, but I'm trying my best. I will catch you anytime that you fall. You've been a blessing in my life that I have to protect. So the least that I can give you is all. Through the joy, through the pain, that's forever and always. You're my son, that won't change. I will love you all my days. Through the joy, through the pain, through the storm and through the rain. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Because I live for you. the 
last forever and always. I'm your father that won't change. I will love you all my days through the joy, through the pain, through the storm and your church from now on. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well done. Uh, it's a real joy to be sharing the stage with uh, you folks singing like, holy smokes, I should have brought a piano and uh, learned to <laughs> sing better. <laughs> but uh, um, this is really, uh, it's so nice just to be listening to music in person, you know? Wow. Um, well, maybe I'll... Uh, Maybe I'll do one more from the 44 record. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's a few songs on the record. Um, maybe I'll capo for this one if I can find one. Hang tight. Um, there's a number of songs for friends who uh, kind of we lost over the last few years. or and Because uh, that's one of the challenging things about getting older. Uh, or at any age, you can lose folks you care about. But I've found the last number of years, there's, there's, uh, there's been a been a few losses that have kind of added up and they make you change your perspective a little bit on things sometimes but anyway i wanted to write a few songs on the record that were f for uh f in memory of people and this is this one is for a friend named tim who uh I played music with years ago we were in a band called noisy land together he was a bass player and he knew a lot of people in the community he eventually moved to toronto and we would catch up all the time there but um he was the bartender at uh, almost every bar of consequence in the Halifax music scene that I went to through the 90s into the uh, early mid 2000s I would have first met Tim probably at the Double Deuce or maybe even the Club Flamingo when I was 16 years old playing there with the Hermit so anyway this is this is a song in memory of Tim called Tim and I haven't sung this in a in a year or more so or about, probably about a year I guess let's see <laughs> uh, let's see what happens Timmy had a way of reeling people in In a crowded bar It was just you and Tim Timmy knew the drill He'd been around the block With a bass guitar He'd rock He had this calling card Charles and Andrew printed up Let God sort them out That's what it said Let Tim fill up your cup Timmy moved away Trying to keep the country cool Toronto needed work He took that town to school It was a form of public service It was there he met his love A gal he'd known for years When she said his name Timmy was all ears He was not as tall As our other Tim Miniature not small Chucky nicknamed him When Tim was holding court He was not quick to judge He knew we'd make mistakes Everybody does Talk about baseball, crime writers, revolution rock. Talk about anything at all, man, we would talk. But sometimes when he spoke, he was just blowing smoke, and that was all right. 
Tim was in a band We used to share a space When my patch cords went missing I'd find them in his case Then someone stole his bass Out the back of the marquee If that prick is playing gigs He better play for free Play for free Play for free. Timmy gave a shit, except when he did not. He called it like he saw it, and man, he saw a lot. Oh, we miss you, Tim. Yeah, we miss you, Tim. Hey, brother, I'm with him. In here with Tim. Oh, we miss you, Tim. Yeah, we miss you, Tim. Babe, leave on a light. I'll be home late tonight. I'm catching up with Tim. I'd meet him at the swan every time I hit the smoke. Now both of them are gone. This ain't a funny joke. Joel, it sounds amazing. It's called a Harmony Sovereign. Okay. It's, I think from the 60s. I got it in Toronto years ago at Capsule Music when it was mm. there, but it's really handsome. I bought it because of the pick guards, you know? Like it just took it looked so nice with the with the yeah. with the whatever, the plastic on the head stars. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Look kind of, I don't know. Yeah, it made me feel like I was in the, it was the 1950s and I was Eddie Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. it. Sounds amazing. Um, I'll do uh a song that I just put out last week, like Heather said. Um, and for the past couple of years, I've, I've been more focused on like the writing side of things and getting my feet wet, wet with production. So, um, you know, this is a first for me. And, and over the, the past couple of years, there's been a couple of songs like, like this one that sort of fell into my lap and just felt like, you know, this is a story I want to tell and something that just makes sense to come from, from my voice. So, so this is the first, the first song that I'm putting out in the world as Bria Isabel, and it's called Girlfriends. I love this one. We were half asleep, we were half awake, and it's hard to find yourself in 11th grade, so we go out and we drink too much just to have an excuse to touch and make out so the jocks could watch. They'd say, oh my God, that's so hot. I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. I know you wanted me to, yeah, even back then I knew. You wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. There was something different about us, but we didn't show it. Maybe we were scared of ourselves, maybe homophobic. Took my hand, put me out to the hall, pushed me hard up against the wall. And I said we should go back in, didn't want anybody to think. I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. We were just girlfriends. Yeah, I saw your boyfriend one night at the bar. He leaned in real close. Over the noise, I asked how you are. He said that he knows. He knows that we used to kiss. He laughed like it was a joke. I guess he don't know. I guess he don't know that 
I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. I wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. I know you wanted me to, but that's something we couldn't do. You wanted to be girlfriends, but we were just girlfriends, yeah. We were just girlfriends. song that was placed in Grey's Anatomy? No, that's a different song. I would love to get that song in Grey's Anatomy. I'll put that out into the <laughs> universe, but um, yeah. it was a song I wrote called See the Sun with another amazing Canadian artist named Hannah Wundmena. Okay. Right yeah. On. Yeah, and you had another placement. It was a bat, bat woman? Oh my gosh, I love your, your research, <laughs> Heather. You got her all, yeah. Yeah, it's been an exciting year that seeing Grey's Anatomy, seeing something I wrote and produced and recorded in my little home studio in Halifax, play on Grey's Anatomy in my living room was was a highlight for sure. Holy smokes, it's amazing. Awesome. It's fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Well, I haven't had any placements, uh, but I'm going to sing another one. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a late bloomer. Um, this is one, uh, the song was written with Dave Tyson, and it was written from the perspective of a violin, and the violin Lynn belonged to the bandmaster of the Titanic. And you all know the story of how they played music on the deck when they were loading the passengers into the life rafts. Well, the bandmaster's body was pulled from the Atlantic, and the violin, his violin was in his case, and it was strapped to his body. And it, it's a very specific violin because there was a silver plate below the bridge that read, To Wallace on the occasion of our engagement, Maria. So he was going, this was going to be his last journey, and he was going to s move home and marry Maria, and have a family, and work at home. And sadly, it didn't happen, but the violin was sent home to her. And almost 100 years later, it was found in an attic somewhere in England. Anyway, uh, we gave the violin a heart and a soul, and we imagined its journey, um, and it imagined, it imagined it longing to be returned to the ocean for eternity with the the person who loved it most. This is called Titanically. That was a Titanic introduction to Titanically.
strike up the quintet. Captain says full steam ahead. Fancy me living titanically. Mozart and Gershwin, we can match the mood you're in. Picture we living titanically. Great. It's it fun. It's totally theatrical. I wanted to sing along so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I find my harmony. Ah, <laughs> oh, you feel free. Oh, That's man. Fun. Yeah, boy. Oh, I love it. Over wow. to you. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Shout out to Kim Dunn, by the way. Like, this guy I know, is right? such an amazing keyboard player, and he's hilarious. He's being very modest, <laughs> but he's one of the funniest <laughs> dudes you will meet. He's <laughs> very full of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Doing a thirty-minute stand-up after this, right? right. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. So it was mentioned earlier. I'm native to Toronto, but I moved here on the East Coast seven years ago, with where I've been ever since. And upon moving here, you know, I I discovered a lot of history that just wasn't taught in Ontario, or just isn't taught in our curriculum. You know, it's kind of embedded in Scotian and East Coast soil. So upon digging it up and you know starting to learn about you know the history of you know, black loyalists and even people like Viola Desmond. It's like, this is such potent history and such amazing story. So w learning about Viola Desmond, I decided to pen a song, you know, from her perspective. And with the help of Jesse Brown, another East Coast artist, and Vanessa mm -hmm. Asia Simons, we wrote a song called Think of Me, which basically is, you know, I, I envisioned it being from the perspective of Viola Desmond, if she was to speak to someone who's facing discrimination today. So think of me. Justice fills your heart with pain when you pray at night for peace, when you feel like all your hopes in vain, just stop and think of me. And if you find yourself against the odds, yeah. No amount of time can heal. You're fighting battles you've already lost. Just stop and think of me. I'm the voice of the people through the struggles we fight. I'm the face of redemption, the truth between the lies. When you look into the darkest night and all you see is out of reach, don't you lose your focus in the blind or oh, just stop and think of me. Yeah. See, I've been battered, beaten, bruised, and torn. 
but I still made it in one piece. And there were times I felt all alone, but thank the Lord, because I know he kept me. Oh, so if you cry, let it be tears of joy. Yeah, find the strength that lies so deep. And as you rebuild hope that's been destroyed, just stop and think of me. I'm the voice of the people through the struggles we fight. I'm the face of redemption, the truth between the lies. When you look into the darkest night, and all you see is out of reach, oh, don't you lose your focus. stop and think of me when you look into the darkest night oh, and all you see is out of reach yeah don't you lose your focus in the blind oh, oh just stop and think of me yeah, just stop and think of me. Oh, oh, just stop and think of me. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. That song and your other one, Listen? Yes. They should be part of the elementary school curriculum. Ah, uh, thank you. It, thank I mean, you. I'm I'm as guilty. I mm -hmm. I don't di don't know the history. The right. history I was taught did not include right. that and and our indigenous history. Yeah. So I'm learning mm -hmm. every day and mm -hmm. uh, trying to be you know. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a whole it, lot. it is a lot to to mm -hmm. to uh, you know, but it's it's on us now. Yeah. You know, we gotta we gotta step up. Yeah, the band aid got ripped off, so. Yeah. Away we go. It's a beautiful <laughs> tune and, 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 and amazing to hear you singing it, too. What, like, Thank I love you. your voice, man. Holy yeah. smokes. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's it. great. Um, it's lifting me up being around live music. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Feels great. Eh? <laughs> I know. It's pretty well. Um, all right. Well, maybe uh, I'll sing a tune here. I got a tune, f I got a tune for the tune, if that's uh, acceptable over the airwaves as we <laughs> broadcast this out into the universe. <laughs> Um, but this is a song that uh, s seems to have made its way onto the radio a few times over the course of uh, the year, I think, because maybe it wasn't, wasn't written with uh, this isolation and uh, sequestering in mind of the pandemic where we haven't been able to move about. But um, it's a song I wrote years ago. Um, and uh, I'm going to play it in the tuning that I wrote it in, and uh, and in the, the the way I wrote it, it was kind of a little more like a. I sort of thought it sounded like a Joni Mitchell song or something, but then when the band uh, got got on the case and Dave Marsh, who plays drums in the Emergency with me, gave it a Buddy Holly beat, it turned into something altogether different. It turned more Peggy Sue than Joni Mitchell, but uh, this is how I wrote it. It's called, Can I Go Nowhere With You? Can I go nowhere with you? Hey, good looking, why the frown? You always look better when it's upside down. You see, you got nowhere that you're going to. Can I go nowhere with you? I took the Dartmouth Ferry into the town. Spent my pennies bumming around Trying to find a way to tear a strip off these blues Can I go nowhere with you? Paid the cover, saw the show Sat at the bar where the drinks did flow Didn't see a single face that I knew Till I went nowhere with you 
Can I tag along tonight? We'll kill some time. It looks like you might need a little company. I'm so cheap, I might as well be free. Hey, good looking, why the frown? You always look better when it's upside down. You say you got nowhere that you're going to. Can I go nowhere with you? Can I go nowhere with you? We got lots of time, we'll go again. Na 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 nowhere to go. Na 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 Can I go nowhere with you? Can I tag along tonight? We'll kill some time. It looks like you might need a little company. I'm so cheap, I might as well be free. Whoa, 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 if you get tired and want to go home. I'm still wired, I'm a go it alone. The same time next week at a quarter past ten, and we can go nowhere again. If you show up, then then you know I will too. Can I go nowhere with you? Hey, good looking, why the frown? You always look better when it's upside down. You say you got nowhere that you're going to. Can I go? Nowhere with you. Na 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 na. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? You got nowhere that you go into. Can I go nowhere with you? Can I go nowhere with you? Can I go? Can I go nowhere with you? Can I go nowhere with nowhere with you? Woo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. My yeah. wife would love that line. It's so cheap, you might as well be free. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's you. <laughs> Thanks, oh, so cool. What tuning is that? That's uh, open G. Open, open G. G. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> Because I just had to learn a song, This Flight Tonight by Joni, yeah. and I think it's the same tuning, right? Same tuning, But with maybe. a low G. Yeah. Like, anyway, her tuning. She made up a she made up a lot of tunings, like just uh, I, there was sort of some standard ones she did, and she would just tune it however she felt. Like she has some tunings that are really hard to figure out. It's pretty amazing. So wacky. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it always makes the chords kind of suspended, you know, or there's always that. Yeah. This yeah. might be sort of sound like a. There's just always like a <laughs> another note that you're having that you can yeah. find in there that's really neat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Joni is the queen. Yeah. Um, I'll do a tune that I played, uh, like everyone else here, I guess we haven't really been playing much, but during the uh, quarantine, Bruce Guthrow was running these songwriter circles, which I'm sure you folks took part in, and uh, that was kind of the first show I'd played in a year and a half or something, and I played this next song, and it was myself and Bruce and Gordy Sampson and Matt Anderson, and this had never happened to me in a songwriter circle, but afterwards I got a text from from the amazing Matt Anderson, and he was like, what was that song you played, Only an Island? Has that ever been mm. recorded? Mm. Um, and I said no, and I guess he was looking for songs for his next record, which is coming out soon, so he said, I'd love to, to track a version of it and try it with my band if you're, if you're open to it, and I said, like, would love that more than anything. I'm, s I'm a huge Matt Anderson fan, and his voice is just like, <laughs> speaking of ama amazing voices, so. I said go ahead and kind of didn't really know if it if it ever happened. And then I ran into Kim a few weeks later and he said we just got out of the studio and tracked the song and mm -hmm. it's coming out on the album. So yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to hear Matt's version, but I'll do uh I'll do my little version. It's called Only an Island and I wrote it with the amazing Dylan Guthrow and Carlton Stone. It's like 
To be pushed by the tide Just to pull you back in Surrounded by water Going nowhere but under No one's breaking your heart Just you in the dark To have and to hold for water another one for wine yeah both are half empty most of the time so lay down beside her and tell her you love her cause only It's better alone With too many nights spent In this empty apartment Your pictures in boxes The walls are all talking Wondering where all my days went The sound of the sound that I've ever made and all the lies that I told one glass for water another one for wine yeah both are half empty most of the time so lay down beside Tell her you love her Cause only an island Is better Tell her you love her Cause only an island Only an island Only an island Is better Matt's going to have to bring his A game if he's going <laughs> to sing it better right. than yeah. you just did. <laughs> oh, that's a song, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I, don't, I don't think we have enough time to go the loop again. So, I mean, I was going to do this anyway, but I, I, I was going to – is everyone cool if we invite Kim Dunn to sing yes, a song? Please. He's yeah, a very – he's an accomplished singer-songwriter in his own right. Oh, and I'm, uh, like, I'm embarrassed that he's accompanying me because – He's oh, come on. Y top you do of the this game. Every, she does this every yeah. time. <laughs> get up there. My mother would say, get uh, up there. <laughs> you sure? Come on, Kim. You sure you want to yes, do please. this? Yes, bye. I mean, uh, Kim Dunn. you guys could probably get another one in. If, but this song is 15 minutes long. So. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, damn. Okay. In uh, the meantime, think of something we can all go out singing together. <laughs> well, jeez, uh, hard to pick one. Um, I guess maybe I'll try. I'll try a new one. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm kind of. I'm not even sure if it's any good, but you know, you're always anxious to to air them out and take them out for a trial trial run. Um, this is uh, kind of a COVID tune. Not not that it's a COVID tune, but I wrote it recently uh, through all this craziness. It's kind of a take a good with the bad kind of a tune, I guess. Uh, in fact, it even suggests that one sometimes can't live without the other. You gotta, it's hard to appreciate the good things without some of the bad sometimes. Uh, that's the general gist of this tune. It's called uh, 
It's called Way to Go Blues. Okay. If that makes any sense, well, you might get it. If it wasn't for falling, I'd never get back up. If this thirst was not unquenchable, I'd never drink from your loving cup. If I lived on easy street, I could never give myself enough. Way to go, blues. Way to go. This world will treat you so cold. Or kill you with tenderness. How do we know how sweet it is? If not for the bitterness. If everything was picture Folks would be better off, I guess. Way to go, blues. Lately, everything is driving me insane. And I'm sitting on a one way ticket on a runaway train. Fun waiting for the sun when you're screaming at the pouring rain. Yeah, but one of these days, the lucky old sun is gonna shine again. Shine on. Blue. 
when you were playing like the solo in the middle, I, I had this like image of you from over here as like a puppeteer and you were holding people dancing <laughs> on the piano, <laughs> kind of like this. That's, what <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it was really cool. Well, apparently we do have time to keep going for w one more run. Y'all up with that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Go for uh, it. Have a cafe. <laughs> okay. uh, this is just uh, another song I wrote with Dave Tyson. And uh, it's uh, wrote it first bits uh, wandering around Los Angeles feeling uh, a little out of place. Sure, sitting in a cafe. a song got caught up in your hand too long all hallows eve in the city hear the fanfare for the one dressed as himself sitting Roar of the audience. How is do you out forget the words the to your own song? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's when you hap happens when you're in your fifties. Oh man, <laughs> that's it. I forget the title to my song. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> well, you're a little bit older than me <laughs> to say. I feel like my brain has been kind of partially erased, like a hard drive totally. this year or something. There's yeah. totally. or there's places that, but it, it <laughs> I, I just it's it's funny how. When you're out in the world moving about, you sort of remember things, and then you go. In, I found I've gone. In, everyone's kind of gone down their own their own rabbit hole. Like there's a rabbit yes. hole, you know. <laughs> that we, everyone's just like spending time online or with. Them s re I've been in a lot, reading a lot of books, yeah. 
stuff like that. But I just mm. feel like there's so many things that it's going to take me a while to get my memory back to remember. I maybe I'm speaking for myself, but I don't know if that's yeah. a feeling that and everybody the pace. has. To it's the pace, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. It's yeah. really yeah. encouraging for this 33 year old. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 what I have to look forward to. Huh? Oh, you're just a young gaffer. I'm just a little young pup. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, a wise man once said that you ought to speak your truth even when your voice trembles. So um, this next song I'm going to do is, it's a pretty hard-hitting one, and it's often hard to even put out, but it's important to be transparent about what's going on around me. So this one's called Listen. My mama told me there'd be days like this. Daddy done warned me I would feel like this. As I get older, I'm feeling colder. But I don't want to live a life like this. I just got to speak my truth and I hope you listen. Yeah. I'm just trying to see refuge from the life we live in. Yeah. Look. Same struggle, just a different day. Still requesting ID when I gotta pay. Still use different civics on the resume cause we know the community names make them look away. I pray to God someone listens. We don't play no race cards, man. It's the life that we're living. Casual police checks, we all fit the description. Minorities in the street, so how we rule in the prison? I don't get it, look. Black skin and brown eyes got me stigmatized. The media don't televise, lest somebody dies. They feeding us premium lies by the super size. That's how we grow desensitized to our mother's cry. It happens way too often. Front row up in the church, sun up in the coffin. Heads up, God, we suffer too many losses. More rallies, more riots, more city marches. And that cop that took his life, you know they dropped the charges. Chalked it up to ghetto thug, just another target. Man, this cycle keeps repeating and I'm getting nauseous. Got me praying for my sons, we gotta be cautious I wanna be off this, but there's no ways out We came a long way, but still a long ways out I've been praying for change, but I'm all prayed out Got my fist up in the sky, cause I won't change now Cause my mama told me there'd be days like this Daddy done warned me I would feel like this As I get older, I'ma be cold But I don't wanna live a life like this I just gotta speak my truth and I hope you you listen, yeah. I'm just trying to see refuge from the life we live in, yeah. I stand tall, my head facing the steeple, fighting tears, thinking about the struggle of my people. Generations of forefathers looking for a breakthrough with nothing left but God and faith to hold on to, huh? Robbed of freedom, stripped of pride. Some holding on to life and others living to die. They gave us little to nothing, but we took it in stride. Turned nothing into something, found the strength to survive. Turned survival into triumph, through the ashes we rise. Yet we found strength that we had embedded inside. Underneath the melanin lies, rejection and pain. But don't forget about the history that flows through our veins. Stories of what was, what is, what is to come. Redemption for black fathers, freedom for black sons, maroons, black loyalists slaves they all won through the succession the sons we fighting to overcome look bumping sam cook up in the subwoofer now is not the time to be an onlooker if my people unify then we'll begin to mobilize and they gonna see the heat rising like a slow cooker and there's no days out we came a long way but still a long ways out i've been praying for change but i'm all prayed out got my fist up in the sky because i won't change now because my mama told me there'll be days like this daddy done warn me i would feel like this as i get older i'm feeling colder but i don't want to live a life like this i just gotta speak my truth and i hope you listen yeah i'm just trying to seek refuge from the life we live in yeah yeah Um, well, I, uh, I think maybe I'll, I'll just, I'll follow with a new song, and if I can hope to remember it, let's see what happened, but I figured I should at least kind of demonstrate that I've done something during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, I've got a few tunes that have arrived, but let's see. I don't know. I haven't, uh, 
I haven't really sung this one for anybody yet, so let's uh, let's try it now. Actually, I'm gonna leave them for time. This is a song about uh, I don't know. It, uh, the the chorus just kind of came to me, and it. Uh, um, I guess it's like the uh, you know I mean having spent so many years on the road traveling and always kind of m- m- moving. Uh, <laughs> And playing music uh, to sort of put that on pause was uh, has been both kind of humbling and good, you know, in, in, in an interesting way. But uh, this is about that sort of wanderlust for the road, I guess, you know, that sort of set in a few times over the course of the year. I mean, I've loved being home with my family, uh, but I also love, uh, uh, you know, traveling about. So this is a sort of, I guess, that that state of mind is called "Let Me Go, Joe." <laughs> place in the sun chasing the twos tracing the one above or below let me go Joe let me go Joe for a spell to find my way to heaven Let me go, Joe. Let me go make my mistakes. The pedal to the metal, just to know that them's the brakes. Breaking news, making waves, making art. Waking you up with a broken heart. That's all right, that's okay. It's all part of the show. It's the cinema, you know. So let me go, Joe. Let me go, Joe, for a spell To find my way to heaven Or wind my way through hell Let me go, Joe Let me go make something up Let curiosity kill this cat or fill his empty cup Stepping out on a daydream Ain't got a doubt in the grand scheme east to the west cause the restless don't settle for rest now we sleep on the road so let me go let me go to find my way to heaven Wind my way below Let me go, Joe If I'm here, pretend I'm gone To find the silver lining The horizon's rolling on, Joe Before I forget how I'll go nowhere for the encore, Joe. Let me go. 
somewhere now. It's a new one. It's like a mantra. This has been fun sharing the stage with all of you folks. This has been great. Yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. So much fun. Got it's time for one more? Yeah. 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 Or a couple Absolutely. more? Um, thank you, ECMAs, and uh, all you folks. Honestly, I am I just feel so lucky to be up here with Joel, Owen, Heather. You guys are all incredible. So this was a lot of fun. I'll do a, one of my favorite Port Cities tunes. We wrote it in beautiful Inverness, Cape Breton, overlooking the Bredora Lakes at uh, the Frolic and Folk pub up there right next to the Highland Village. Gorgeous spot. Once things open up, everyone should go visit Inverness Cape Breton. But this is called The Idea of You. Well, I don't, no, I don't even know you. But damn it, I want to wake up in your bed. Stranger, you don't feel like a stranger. Like staring at an old picture before it started to fade. Or maybe I'm in love with the idea of you. Cause I don't even know you. But I want you to kiss me. Maybe I'm in love with the idea of you. I'm not saying. But I hope that you miss me Oh, I try Just trying to convince myself You'd act like this with anyone else Oh, what a beautiful life Oh, wait Watching the grass grow We stay up till they all go home Baby, we the last ones left Maybe I'm in love with the idea of you Cause I don't even know you But I want you to kiss me, kiss me Ooh, maybe I'm in love with the idea of you I'm not saying I need you But I hope time probably could have looked your way walked on by and you let me yeah any other night any other fool probably could have walked away and forgot about you but maybe i'm in love with the idea of you because i don't even know you but i want you to kiss me kiss me Ooh, maybe i'm for tuning in this afternoon and to everyone at the ECMAs for inviting us to be here and for all your hard work this uh, year. 
putting this, I know you, you put it all together and then had to put it all together again and then put it all together again because of mm -hmm. COVID. So thank you for your patience and for making it possible for all of us to share our music. And uh, we just want to send out a special thank you to SOCAN and to the Songwriters Association of Canada for m allowing us to gather today and uh, sing for you. So thanks, everybody. See you next year. Thanks. Woohoo! Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. Where's the patty? Oh, yeah, there's no party. <laughs> <laughs>